Dino Time, written by Lucy Green. Chapter 1. Please do not touch. Robbie Scott, don't touch that, shouted Mrs. Smith. Sorry, Mrs. Smith, answered Robbie. It was a field trip day and the class was visiting the museum. The two boys hated the museum. It was the most boring place in the world. Everything was old and the boys could not touch anything. Why can't we go somewhere cool for the field trip? Robbie asked Scott. Yeah, like Waterbird or the zoo. This place is boring, answered Scott. The two boys followed behind the class. They were talking and drinking pop. Neither of them was listening to the museum guide. He was too boring. Hey, what is this thing? Asked God as they came to the next display. The boys stopped to take a closer look. It was a large metal bowl with a small door on one side. It had a small window, but the boys could not see inside the metal bowl. Scott read the information card next to the display. This is a time machine invented by a local scientist, Dr. Ralph Fiziago. The machine was invented in 1895 with hopes of traveling through time, but the project was never finished. Wow, that's pretty cool, said Scott. Robbie looked around to make sure no one was looking. Then he climbed over the fence and opened the door to the time machine. Robbie, come back! We're going to get in trouble, whispered Scott. Come inside with me, answered Robbie quietly. This is a bad idea, said Scott. He climbed the fence and followed Robbie into the time machine. He shut the door so no one could see them. Chapter 2 Big Trouble The time machine was old and dusty inside. There was a chair and a control table with many buttons. There was one dirty little window they could see through. Wow, it's really dark in here, said Robbie. The boys put their cups of pop on the control table. Scott turned around but accidentally knocked one cup over. The pop went all over the controls. Uh-oh, now we are in big trouble, said Robbie. As the pop dripped into the controls, something started to happen. All the control lights started to come on, and there was a loud noise coming from, un, coming from under their feet. <laughs> the noise became louder and louder. The boys looked at each other. They were confused and scared. <laughs> The noise got even louder, and then flash! There was a very big bright light. After a second, the noise slowly went away. Can we get out of here now before we get in more trouble? Scott said. Good idea, answered Robbie. Scott opened the door and gasped. Everything was gone. The museum was gone. The class was gone. Mrs. Smith was gone. Even the boring museum guide was gone. There were only rolling hills, a few trees, and a lot of grass and rocks. 